Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And guess what? I listened to your comments. I went and got a sandblasting booth from Harbor Freight. I got the large one. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it. Cause you know what? I'm tired of sanding and I think this is gonna come a long way and really help this project out. I did get the 40 pound capacity one. Let's go ahead and put this thing together and get to blasting. All right, guys, it is the next morning here. Uh, I had to run the practice last night, so hey, life calls. So anyways, let's bust this thing open, put it together, and go from there. And I have no idea where the heck I'm gonna store this thing. Um, yeah, I'm really running out of space. All right guys, so we got the cabinet put together. And let me tell you what, this cabinet right here from Harbor Freight, it was not fun at all to put this thing together. It was uh, it was very trying, lots of bolts. You gotta tighten every single thing and it's just awkward. If you had two people, it wouldn't be bad at all. But hey, we got it done. And now let's figure out where to put this thing. All right guys, so I got this. <laughs> this uh, the nut loose right here that goes to the rotor, like where the actual half shafts go. I just ran a, one of the bolts for the rotor and let it catch on one of these bolts back here because it's like impossible to break these loose without everything just spinning. So it worked, that did the trick. So if you're wanting to know how to take the diff apart, just throw one of those bolts back in there. Hopefully they didn't get bent. I did have to use the five foot steel pipe.
let's go ahead and get this dip cover off because it's getting powder coated too. And guys, this is how I get in trouble. I'm wearing really nice clothes. I've got to go somewhere here in just a minute, but I want to get something done. Just don't tell anybody. Fluid looks really good. I'm impressed. We're just gonna let this thing sit here and drain and do its thing. So I still got a little bit of time before I have to leave. And let's go ahead and throw these body mounts. Put the bumper back on here. With some brand new hardware. So excited.
All right guys, so I just got back recently from going out and getting some of this stuff right here. And guess what? This is gonna be a hose for this bucket right here. And this bucket is gonna be a cyclone. I've just been looking this stuff up online for all the dust and everything that happens once you start sandblasting. Basically, you turn on a shot back, which is connected to the lid of this bucket, which has a hole in the side of the bucket, which a hose will come out to this, which makes a cyclone inside the bucket and not so much crap goes into the shop back, which clogs the filter. So I don't know, I've seen it online and it looks to be working really well. Let's give it a try. Hey guys, it is the next day here and we're finally ready to go on this. I went and got some media, so a bucket. I finished up my cyclone here and I need another shot back hose here, two inch. So I went and got all these parts, put everything together and now we're ready to rock and roll. Cross your fingers. So here's the cabinet and it actually, I mean, you can even see the glare on here. Like it's hard to see in there. I think it'd actually be better at night or in a shop, but I'm gonna go ahead and dump the media. And this is what I got. This was like 60 bucks. It's kind of expensive. It's a 50 pound. So I only need to put 40 pounds in here. So I have a little bit left over. And you just dump it right down here in the bottom. This tube goes down the bottom. Hook up my air. And boom, ready to blast. Over here, I got the bucket. Cut a hole in the side. You guys saw that yesterday. Nice and... I haven't done the silicone on top yet, but whatever. That'll be fine. I'll do that here later on, and I don't have any. So the two-inch hose, 
from here into the bucket, makes a cyclone, shot back is in there, sucks it, blah. So the, pretty much the point of this is not to clog that. Pretty simple. Most of the debris should go in the bucket. Then you just dump it away, throw it away. So let's give it a try. Let's get to blasting. Let's get this brake caliper a uh, test run here. Pretty rusty back in there. It's not terrible, in terrible shape at all. Uh, let's put a bolt down here where the banjo would go to keep it good and uh, let's go. Let's try this thing out. I wonder how big of a mess it's gonna make. All right, just pulled it out. I missed that part right there. Put it back in there. But it, uh, it came really clean. I haven't cleaned it up at all. I wiped it. Did pretty good over here. I just pulled the shot back out and checked that out. That's a lot of dust. I bet there's nothing in that, um, in the shot back from, I mean, it's already nasty anyway from the cars, but hey, I think it's doing pretty good. So I noticed my compressor has a hard time of keeping up with this. So I do kind of got to pause, let it go, pause, let it go. And it works better for me on just lots of little trigger pulls, which I don't like. I would like one continuous span of media. I don't want my, my fingers to kill me. Just doing this a million times, that's kind of how I did that piece because it, it gives you more of a burst. Just like that first instance when you hit the air gun puts more material out there so i wish it was more even maybe you guys know something i don't about this let me know let me know how i can get a nice even flow out of the from the compressor to the gun in here in the cabinet for real hey ma'am All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. If you notice here in the back, the cabinet's gone, the big wooden cabinet, because I cannot spray paint or spray paint. I cannot powder coat up here anymore. The particles and stuff do fly out here in the air, and they do get on the vehicles. Uh, it's not bad, I and mean, it comes off of the clay bar really easy if it does even stick, but it's just really messy up here. So we kind of moved a lot of stuff around today. I know this video was slow on the Humvee, but keep your post notifications on. Hit the like button, guys. Share the video. This thing's going to be coming together really quick here, really shortly. But we got a lot of this moved around so I can do some of the sandblasting and stuff in here. And it's really going to help this out. And it's going to just make this thing. Everything's going to be better with this thing being sandblasted. But uh, look forward to your comments, guys. Make sure you tell me how I can get some full-blown air pressure without going to buy a... If you guys know of a way, I can do it without buying a massive compressor. But let me know. Hey... We got the diffs broke apart. That was really good. They need to get tore down. We got a lot of odds and ends done with the Humvee. But until next time, guys, see you later.